Hi, I'm Doug. I'm Jason. And we're two Aussie dads. You know, Doug, nothing starts the day off better than a quickie. Oh, you got that right, mate. You know, and no matter how you like your eggs in the morning, I've got a saucy little number that's going to excite them no end. Oh, great. Don't leave us hanging, mate. What is it? I call, I'm going to show you how to make hollandaise sauce two Aussie dad style. Oh, sounds awesome, mate. It's hard to do? Easy as. Easy as. You up yep. for a quickie? Question is, are you up for a quickie? So no matter what people say, hollandaise sauce is really, really simple guys, and I'm going to show you the easiest way to make it at home, okay? And it doesn't have many, much in the way of ingredients. We've got some eggs, we're going to be just using the egg yolks. I'm just using a couple hundred grams of salt-reduced butter, um, I just like the taste, and you can add salt to taste anyway. Uh, I don't have any lemons at the moment, so I'm going to cheat. I'm just using some lemon squeeze from the local supermarket. I reckon this stuff's just as good anyway in most of the, most of the things I do. So, you know, this, they make it sound really trendy and complicated, but at the end of the day, it's egg yolk and butter. That's as simple as it gets. Okay, look, the thing with, with hollandaise sauce is it's all about preparation. The worst thing that you can do is be halfway through cooking your egg yolks and realise that you haven't got your butter out or you haven't chopped it up. Preparation is key in this. So what we're going to do is we're going to get a couple hundred grams of our butter and cube it up first. That way I can have it sitting in the bowl ready to go as soon as my egg yolks start to thicken. And I'll show you the rest in a minute, okay? So let's just chop this up. Look, see here, they tell you how many grams. So just line your knife up on the right one. We want 200 grams, so we're gonna cut it right there. Okay, don't worry about weighing it. See, 200 grams. Close enough. Close enough for me, close enough for two Aussie dads. Goodbye, smiley egg. Now, you want to try and have a bit of a cup here. You can tip your yolk back into. Now we're just left with the yolk. Our two key ingredients. What we're going to need to do is we're going to be cooking the egg yolks in here. Uh, we're going to do our own homemade double boiler. So we're going to put some, cold wa uh, some hot water in here and we're going to have this on the low simmer and the steam from that's going to come up onto the bottom of our glass bowl and that's what's going to actually cook our egg yolks. Now when you're doing that, if you've got a perfectly round bowl and a perfectly round saucepan, what can happen is it'll start to, to bounce as the steam expands. So just get a teaspoon, whack it in at one point and do it on the back end so that as the steam comes out it doesn't burn your hand on this side. And you just want to tilt your bowl over a smidge so that the egg yolks are in the bottom. Alright, let's get to it. So we've got our cubed butter, okay, so we're going to be putting that in and the secret's going to be as soon as the eggs start to thicken up you'll see them start to set on the inside of the bowl, you've got to keep turning that around. Once it starts to come together I'm going to add, start adding my butter, okay. So first up we're going to add, throw in our egg yolks and I'm going to put in a squirt, probably about a tablespoon of lemon juice uh, and I like the lemon flavour, some people prefer to use vinegar, oh, just lemons. A nice little whisk makes life easy, if you don't have a whisk just use a fork but it's a bit harder. Okay, so what we'll see is those yolks will start to set and it'll look like a little bit like scrambled eggs on the bottom and the sides of the bowl. See it's starting to thicken up already, Doug? See how it's, as I draw the, spatch, uh, the, the whisk through, it leaves a bit of a, a groove. You can't walk away from this guys, you've got to keep stirring it and you've got to have your butter diced beforehand because you're not going to have time to stop doing this to go and ch chop up your butter. And we can't throw our butter in in one big block. That's the secret. It is actually. People try to add too much butter and it separates. And you end up with horrible lumpy curdled hollandaise sauce. And if you want to be a master chef, you need to know how to make hollandaise sauce. What if they want to be a guest on uh, Two Aussie Dads? Well then we'll teach them. 
The other thing that I notice is using a whisk, see how it's starting to incorporate a bit of air? I find that using the whisk, I get like a, a fluffier, lighter hollandaise sauce. It seems to entrain the, the air into the yolks a bit more. Now the water, do, the water doesn't have to be boiling, we just want it on a light simmer, otherwise it'll overcook and we have to deal with all the steam. This is a critical stage guys, you got to make sure that you keep incorporating those lumpy bits, otherwise you're going to end up with lumpy hollandaise sauce. There you go, it's starting to thicken, see that? It's beautiful and thick now. Time to start adding the butter. We'll just do it piece by piece. Once it starts to melt down, see it's starting to disappear, we'll add in the next one. Don't be tempted, don't be tempted to add too much butter at once. Be patient. You still, you still can't rush these things. You've got to pay attention. Share the love. It should be when, when a quickie is not always a quickie. Well, just because it doesn't take long overall doesn't mean you shouldn't put 100% into it. Okay, lift this off. Yeah, out of the way. And that's it, there's your finished hollandaise sauce. At this point we're just going to have a quick taste, see if we need to add any salt and pepper. Uh, tip for pepper, use the white pepper, that way it doesn't sharp as little black speckles all through your hollandaise sauce. Yeah. Look how thick that is. It's like a runny custard. I'm just going to add a little bit of pepper to that, I think that's all it needs. Um, I think that's salty enough. Mm. Yeah. In case you haven't seen it before, that's white pepper. I'm going to put some on my hand so you can see what it looks like. It's kind of a green colour, but it's definitely not black. I'm just going to put a pinch of that in. Gently whisk it in. Clean spoons this time, Doug. You've got a cold. And we don't want your mum writing in hate mail again. Nailed it. Mm. Now this will actually start to thicken as it cools too, because obviously the butter starts to solidify. So there you have it, Doug. This is our super sexy hollandaise sauce. And as you agree, it's not much to look at on its own. But when you pour it over something like our two Aussie dads making bacon muffin, you end up with Eggs Benedict. Awesome. Can't wait to get into it. All right. So that's our show for today. If you like our videos, like them down there. Subscribe down there. Above all, I'm Doug. I'm Jason. And we're two Aussie dads. You're up for a quickie? So are we. Show me a woman that isn't going to love these, Doug. Seriously, this is a great way to start the day, guys. Mm. Start the day off with a quickie. All right. All right, let's get into it.